Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome along to the shoutier segment on Irish Radio. It's the scintillating, it's the stupefying, it's the splendido crappy quiz. Every Friday we pit three of team off the ball up against each other in our quiz of sporting factoids at the end of the week. No holds barred. What? No holds barred. It, it is holds barred sometimes. Especially if the, the questions are kind of forgiving. So, uh, holds are barred. So I left out no holds barred this week. What are holds? Holds are barred. It's a WWE yeah, different wrestling. No hold yeah. is barred. All right. You can do whatever type of hold you want. Not specific to WWE different or WWF. Choke. I presume it's like a, it predates all that. It feels like it's an old time expression, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, there you go. I wasn't aware of that. So certain oh. holds will be barred throughout the course of, yeah. uh, of this quiz. Allow me to welcome tonight's contestants. I'm a bit shook, isn't he? He sounds a bit shook, yeah. I'm a bit shook myself. Yeah. You're a bit shook so are you, Jer. Why? Jesus. I'm not shook at all. I'm shook from the off-air conversation that was thrown my way in the moments we just come on air. You were, no, but like, we, we, come on, to be fair, now give our viewers and listeners a reference as to what you're talking okay, about. Okay, so yeah. l- last week, Tommy Rooney... No, in terms of being wrecked, really being uh, sort of a bit shook. Just a hard day's work. You were like at it, the, it is Friday evening. I've been here since 5am uh, in the office. Yeah. 6am this morning. You so. were, you've day. been in Portugal for the week. You went to a Champions League game. The first half was good, second half... Might have been all right. Yeah, that was generally the gist of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was good. It was good, good hard working week. That's what we're looking at. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's get to the real issue. Owen's, Owen's had more YouTube views this week than he's ever had in his life. Has had retweets from higher followed accounts than has ever happened in his life before. I wasn't aware of that. Has a, also had the most comments on his YouTube videos ever of all time. Mm. So I've heard, but I don't. I don't deal with comments. You don't look at comments. Um, I, I block out the haters. Well, it's a good testing ground, right, for what's ahead over the next couple of months. With what? In terms of high level interaction. There's always been high level interaction around me, Adrian, and you know that. Really? Yes. How many Twitter followers do you have? 3,000. It's not enough. High level. Not did, did, did Jamil Hill's retweet get you anything? Jamil. Uh, Jamil. Uh, she, <laughs> she, she, no, she's got 1.1 million followers, and uh, I think I picked up uh, a good two. <laughs> okay. So I was really proud of that. <laughs> yeah. And uh, they were both Web Summit accounts that were kind of fake accounts, I felt. But, uh, you know, every follower is real to me. When you're not telling McGregor's head off, though, it's going to go, followers are going to go through the roof, I think. Well, yeah, I'm not sure why followers would want to, to follow such a, a violent beast like me when I become that violent beast. But anyway, each to their own. <laughs> uh, Shall we welcome tonight's contestants? Let's do that. Our first contestant yeah. tonight is Team OTB's resident trendy millennial. This week, he learned some really trendy, cool millennial things at Web Summit in Portugal. He learned about this hip new website called Twitter. He found that everything can be done on your phone now, and he even discovered that some media organisations put much of their content online on the internet.com. He's the Meath Hillbilly, Tommy Rooney. Hello. What did he learn? What did I learn? Um, what did I learn? I learned a lot, yeah, a lot of what you said. Did you actually go to any of Web Summit, or was it just on like the dip in? And didn't have time. We were recording interviews, running around. What's Portuguese beer? Sagres. Sagres, yeah. Yeah, we did get to see Very some Sagres. Nice. Yeah. It's pretty much just Heineken, though. It gets it? nicer after the sixth Heineken. point. Um, the other one, the other one. Bl- bl- My favourite drink was the uh, margaritas we got. I um, got the glass. Oh, yeah. And I thought it was sugar on the side of the glass. S- Super Bock, I'm told. Oh, uh, Super Bock, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. By, yeah. Or by JP in the. I thought it was box. sugar at the side of the glass, so oh. I went straight for the sugar. But it was chilli and oh. salt. <laughs> I burned them out myself. So you had to get deep into Super Bock after that? Yeah. Good. That was it. Well, I could hear you were busy anyway, lads. Fair play. You should, uh, like that was a wedding tonight. We had a work. flight the next morning. Oh, so look like, at Tommy, you know, my heart bleeds for you. We were all back in the hotel early enough. And that was Wednesday we the night. The next so that was the night we were at the Champions League game, or was that the night yeah. before? Yeah, yeah. Loads of good young so players. What time, the, what time was it you were having the cocktails at? About 10 past 10. Ah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, let's say. Uh, never no, mind. I'm just trying to work out timelines. Well, yeah, no, it's fine. kind of an odd sort of line of questioning there. Uh, coming from our second contestant, who is a king among the dads of this nation after multiple starring roles in the hugely successful dad cast. He's become a gigantic celebrity amongst the fatherhood of Ireland. He's been stopped for so many selfies by dads who can barely work their iPhone 5s. He's been asked to sign hundreds of pairs of jocks and has had to kiss dozens of beer bellies of adoring fans. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even that funny I'm laughing uh, Fatherhood will never be the s- <laughs> will never be the same again give it up for Adrian who's your daddy Barry <laughs> I'm not laughing at that intro at your own joke I know I I'm, own own jokes. Yeah. I'm laughing at the previous conversation <laughs> <laughs> you're very welcome Adrian no I'm just trying to figure out 10 to 10 was that what you said I, said, I actually said 10 past 10 10 past 10 yeah Champions League quarter to eight. Are there any different time? A, a, uh, Adrian, Champions League games have been kicking off at eight o'clock this eight o'clock. season. Eight o'clock, eight o'clock. Okay, so, I, so eight o'clock, half time at quarter to nine. 
God, yeah, you, your maths must be wrong somewhere, I think they're cocktail bars. Yeah. No, go on, that's fine. I'll, just, yeah, I'll continue to work that out of my head there. We'll, uh, we'll bring you up to speed on what happened very shortly. <laughs> Our final contestant tonight is usually on this side of the desk, but is asked to be placed on the other side of the questions this week. Uh, I'm getting sick of my inferiors getting questions wrong, he said this week. With no Dave McIntyre or Nathan Murphy available, this week's quiz might be our first ever stalemate, he complained. Put me in, Chief, he told producer JP. I'm the only one that can save this thing now. Give it up for the Athai Ardvark, Jer Gilroy. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing over the side of the table? I've no idea. I, don't, I think there's literally not enough bodies left on uh, Friday evening of people willing to do work. Fair enough. Show up and appear and, uh, yeah. Oh, because he wrote the quiz so he couldn't be in the quiz, right? Yeah, exactly. Thanks. Mm. Yeah, that, that's, that's how things work. Yeah. As ever, the format is a classic crappy quiz with four questions each after four rounds. The trivia equivalent of a wet evening in Stoke is, is the rapid fire round, is what that round is called. Podcast a crappy quiz on iTunes, Stitcher, Podcast Addict, or OffTheBall.com. Give us five out of five. Did you know you were doing this today? Because it's the first time that I've seen you in about four years without um, any gel in your hair. I do have gel in my hair. Oh, it's just, it's obviously not working. Wow, that's, <laughs> I, I'm really offended by that you would say such a thing about my hair, but, uh, you know, it's going to take a couple of weeks to get over this. You know, when you, when you say, when I said that the haters don't really get to me, that's really got to me. See the chat he did on AVB, himself and AVB, the hairstyles are almost exactly the same. Right? AVB? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You couldn't tell the difference between the two of them. The artwork comment got to you, I think, is, is what's after happening here. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it didn't. <laughs> I hate when I'm called an artwork, it really offends me. I hate it too. <laughs> Um, okay, anyway, the, the crappy quiz is available on iTunes, Stitcher, Podcast Addict, or OffTheBall.com. I, I can't even remember what you just said a moment ago, to be quite honest. Your, ha your hair looks the same as AVB's hair. Oh, yeah, you said that on OTBAM as well this morning. It was good the first time, that was good the second time. No, I think I said it afterwards, actually. But, uh, whatever, move on. Yeah, there we go. Carry on. Uh, it was five out of five, please. Uh, even, <laughs> even if... Even if, if this isn't an enjoyable experience, I know it is so far. Uh, and you can also send in any questions you have via postcard to the Crappy Quiz Quizmaster off the ball Why towers. Why is he struggling so Marconi like, House, he Diggs really Lane, Dublin 2. No post this week. Like, talking over another person while they're talking doesn't Jesus, necessarily... He's getting cranky point well now, isn't he? He's good getting radio. Too. Jesus. You're doing it again. But uh, <laughs> let's continue to have this thing. What are you going to say over me next? Come on, I'm going to keep talking here until you say something that's over me. Did you stop? Deduct some points next time he does it. No post this week, but we did have a comment from Boatman on YouTube. Hello to you, Boatman. I really hate the crappy quiz. It is total self-absorbent nonsense. It gives too clear a view of their real personalities. <laughs> wow. Self-absorbent. Self self what does that mean? That's like it's what this conversation is. Sort of. Um, thank you very much, Boatman. More, more hate, please, on YouTube, on the comment section, and we'll read them out next week. Round one is the boring questions round. Never multiple choice. Question one for you, Tommy. Playing Argentina in rugby always brings us back bad World Cup memories, with 2015 the latest miserable moment in our history of quarter-final failure. But can you name either of Ireland's try scorers on that bad, bad afternoon in Cardiff three um, years ago? Luke Fitzgerald? Correct. Mm. Who's the other one? Mm. Anyone? Jordy Murphy? Jordy Murphy, exactly. Oh. Our only two try scorers that day, 2015. Question one for you, Adrian. Name the easternmost team playing in this year's Champions League. <sighs> this is ridiculous. Geography King, Adrian Barry. Will he fail at the first hurdle? Yes, he will. Geography King, Adrian doesn't even know if he's from Connacht or Leinster. I know exactly where I'm from. So other people have the issues with the point. Is he from Connacht? Your provincial fluid, I think, is the technical term. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy gets it a minute later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving it, JP. Loving it. <laughs> Gonna need an answer, Adrian. Yeah, come on. I have no idea. CSK Moscow. No. Second closest, in fairness. It's uh, Shakhtar Donetsk, uh, and followed by Seska and Lokomotiv. After that, anyone want to guess? Uh, Red Star Belgrade. No, uh, Galatasaray. Oh. Question number one for you, Jer. Aaron Rodgers once again became the NFL's highest paid player ahead of this season, taking in an expected Packer salary of $66.9 million. But can you tell me who's the second highest paid player in the NFL right now? He's also a quarterback. There was somebody in between Jimmy G and Aaron Rodgers. Yep. And that was... Who is that person? That was not Andrew Luck. That was that walking bag of cash. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Matthew Stafford. No, same first name, different surname. It's Matt Ryan. Balls. 
Uh, that is a, a zero for you, So Tommy goes into round two in a one nil lead. Last it's week's over here, champ, isn't it? which we actually never got to at the top of the show, actually. Oh, that's right. Uh, last week's champion Tommy Rooney cheated. So the title goes to me. Uh, we will not deduct the title until Tommy well, actually issues an apology. We, we haven't brought the video today because we, we said we don't need to actually bring the video for Tommy to apologise. We need a full up apology from you on the crappy quiz next week. You can go back and look at the footage I'm yourself. I'm next week. I did not cheat. We got well, anybody I love that Owen gets totally stuck. Oh, okay. watch, uh, watch last week's crappy quiz back, and the first thing you'll see is Tommy really looking into my sheet. But, uh, At what time? Like zero, 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 the, the, at the very start of the quiz. The very start of the quiz? Yeah. Well, you've been what can I say in the very start of the quiz, apart from the intro sheet? No, there was no intro sheet in last week's uh, crappy quiz. So I'm just looking this way? Yeah, you have a quick look. And uh, so so you'll you be deducted last week's championship. No, but we can't wait for him to accept his punishment. Well, like, that's I think not the no, it works. But, uh, but I didn't cheat. I'm willing to wait if we get an appropriate apology. Well, we won't get an apology. We won't get an apology. So we need to start apologising for some of the horrendous stuff that happens on this particular segment. Mm. And I think Tommy Rooney apologising that for that oh, would be our first. Very step self, let me, very let me self absorbent. 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 Can't even repeat it. Well, so, <laughs> do I not get a chance to put my case forward that I actually didn't cheat? Like, what answer did I cheat on? The, the first, first answer that you got correct. Remember, you got it in suspiciously quick time as well. That's and, and that, I remember saying. Did you read that? I remember yeah, you saying yeah, that. Yeah, you cheated. Totally every week. cheater. This is stupid. We're going to have to leave that be for this week. I cheat with Luke Fitzgerald there at the top as well. I can't, no, I can't I believe anything anymore. I, have to I can't believe anything more about this quiz. This is really stupid, lads. Um, for the more, cheat. Round number two, with Tommy in a 1-0 lead, is the red versus blue round. It's the Manchester Derby this weekend. United versus City, Oasis versus the Stone Roses, red versus blue. This round will challenge your knowledge of the fixture and the teams. Question two for you, Tommy. In the 6-1 win for Manchester City in 2011, which of the following players did not score twice? A, Edin Dzeko, B, Mario Balotelli, or C, David Silva? Edin Dzeko. Is that too quick as well? It was. Ah! <laughs> That was Silva. Uh, it was Silva, yeah. Balotelli, uh, of course, scored twice. Ah, <laughs> uh, Tommy. Question two for you, Adrian. <laughs> Who scored the most goals in the Manchester Derby? Bobby Charlton, Sergio Aguero, or Wayne Rooney? You like to contemplate right. over questions quite a bit. Does, do you actually formulate better answers? There's three different names there. Overweight, or what's the story? Yeah. Just trying to tease it out on. That's really it. What are you the, teasing out? You can talk to you. Talk to your. Give the uh, question process. due consideration, due deference. Do it out loud. The quality of the question that it is. I'm going to go for the lottery. Wayne Rooney. Correct. See, your due deference paid off. And that is how you answer a quiz question. Wayne Rooney's got 11 goals, Charlton has 9, and Aguero has 8 yeah, in the Manchester that. Derby. Yeah, uh, nodding in uh, agreement with me there, Adrian. Question two for you, Jerp. The following players have been on the books for both Manchester clubs, but can you tell me which of them has made the least combined appearances for Manchester City and Manchester United? In a derby? or, uh, or Overall. In all, in all their... Derby, hundreds of appearances. Well, we'll see. None, none of these people have over 100 appearances. I see through that sheet, by the way. Uh, option number A, Owen Hargreaves. B, Peter Beardsley. Or C, Mark Robbins. Who's made the least appearances in a Manchester United slash City jersey? So they both played for both clubs? Yes. But so, we, some we, of them played less than others. Beardsley. Correct. <laughs> Correct, Kanchelskis not. Kanchelskis played well over 100, but you're trying to see if you can see. You're no, trying to see that's not my cheat. question. Beardsley really didn't There's play answers on the sheet. first team game for Man United. What's that? Because he didn't really play any first team games for Man United. Yeah, he didn't play at all for Manchester United. Uh, zero appearances. Six, all of his six appearances for both clubs came for Manchester City. Owen Hargett is at 28, and Mark Robbins had 50. Mark, uh, Owen Hargett has only played 28 games for Manchester United in his career. Yeah, and got, well, 27 for Manchester United, one for Manchester City. Right. Was it one? Yeah, one. Um... Round three is the who's younger round. In this round, we'll give you the name of two sports people. All you've got to do is tell me who's younger. Uh, I know, it's a complicated one. Question three for you, Tommy. Who's younger, David Clifford or Declan Rice? Declan Rice. I think Rice was born in February. Rice. Declan Rice? No, David Clifford. David Clifford is 19. He was born on January the 22nd, 1999. Rice was born on January 14th. Uh, the very same year, so only eight days separating them. All right. Question three for you, Adrian. Who's younger, Paul Scholes or Gary Neville? Sure, it's just potluck, isn't it? Like. Who's younger, Paul Scholes or Gary 
<laughs> Is this your inner monologue finally becoming <laughs> external? I'm just trying to think. I mean, I'm not sure there's any factor that's going to. <laughs> I don't think there's any factor that's going to allow me to be able to pinpoint one of these or the other, really. So, on that basis. Here comes the gas. Wayne Rooney. I'm going to go for. Bobby Charlton. Come on. Paul Scholes. Yes. Uh, Gary Neville. Gary Neville's 43 years old. He was born on November 16th, 1974. Well, thanks for giving me the point anyway, Owen. Uh, sorry, uh, apologies. That was Paul Scholes born on oh, no, November 16th, no, 1974. Give me a one. Oh, sorry, yeah, no. Oh, the other uh, that's your total score. Bulger, or... Uh, uh, <laughs> Bulger's the next question. Neville uh, was born on February 18th, 1975. Oh, Good thing I didn't say something else there. Question three for you, Ger. Who's, who's younger, Alex Ferguson or Jim Bulger? Oh, like, you actually just gave me the answer. He has, he you really has. Me the this you read the bunch second name. This is you read so the second bunch name. This is so bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ferguson. That is ridiculous. Uh, and I'm getting the cue to cheating last week. Uh, you, but you explained the methodology that. of where the names that. are written. I knew that. I knew that. Yeah, that did not that make a genius to work out. Well, how did you, tell, tell us the difference then. How do you know it? It's like a total guess. It's like there's no that's about uh, So, I mean... I we, bet there's like four days between them or something. We had, we had Jim Bulger in studio one time for a... And you a, said, oh, are you all for Alex Ferguson? Am I going to get to see this footage we'll just paid last week? Pay attention. Eventually. <laughs> So me looking in your direction right now, do you think I can see that sheet? Yeah, no, probably. No, but British you weren't looking at his direction, you were looking at the sheet. We parked last week. I was looking in the sheet. corner. We did a park last week because we're not going to reach a resolution on this. We, we will reach a resolution once we get a written apology from you and we can read it out to the people. Alex Ferguson, Alex Ferguson is younger than Jim Bulger. Alex Ferguson is 76 years old. He was born on December 31st, 1941. Bulger was born on Christmas Day, 1941. There's your first bit of trivia. What's how long difference? does it take you There's to... How, how many people did you have to Wikipedia before you... Like, how did you... Did you just rip that off another website? Or? No, I looked it up on Wikipedia myself. That's what's, hard work. What's the difference in age? Uh, six days. Okay. It was so pretty much six days between the three of them. Pretty much, because, you know, if it wasn't six days, if it was eight days of difference between them, Adrian would be complaining about, you know, inequality <laughs> in the quiz. Fair point. So, uh, you know, keeping the, keeping the integrity. A brilliant round, Owen. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Shit round. round number four is going to get better. It's the fun-free magic number round. Contestants get three points for getting the number exactly right. If no one manages that, the nearest contestant who doesn't go bust gets two points. The second closest gets one point. Again, I'm going to have to say that we can only accept the answer that's written on your paper. I'm also going to have to ask for your pens once the music ends. So if you don't mind, give me the following number. The number of Limerick players on the PWC GPA GEA All-Star Hurling Team of the Year 2018... Plus the number of Premier League titles won by Jose Mourinho. Plus the number of teams in total that play in the NBA. Plus the number of medals Ireland won in total at the 2016 Olympic Games. Your 30 seconds expires when Sinatra sings bright shiny beads. Act just medals. Medals, yeah. Not names. So the number of Limerick All-Stars in the hurling team of the year this year. Plus the number of Premier League titles won by Jose. Plus the number of teams that play in the NBA. And the number of medals Ireland won in Rio 2016. Again, I think all the pens are down. People are satisfied with their answers. Not really. It's going to be no contains this week. Tommy, what have you got? 49. 26. 62. It's 41. <laughs> Adrian wins by <laughs> virtue of the fact that he's 15 off. Oh, my word. Uh, congratulations. The NBA obviously shot me in the foot there. How did you get 60? How many teams are in the NBA? 30. Yeah, 32. Uh, let's go through the answers. Um, the first one was the number of Limerick players in the All-Star team. I was sure there was seven. way more NBA teams than there were NFL teams. Uh, six. So Sean six. Finn, Richie English, Declan Hannon, Dan Seven's Morrissey, Keen answer. Lynch and Graham O'Cahey. So I got that right. Six. The answer. Uh, number of Premier League titles won by Jose. Oh, Three. I don't know where I went wrong. 30 teams in the NBA. Medals. And how many medals? Four? I wrote Two. That, I wrote that Annalise and the O'Donovans. I wasn't even thinking. So the answer was 41. So with 26 points, Adrian, you get yourself That's two pretty... points, right? I uh, think so, Two yeah, points. So you're up to three. Ger, you're still on two. And Tommy, you're still on one. It's finally poised as we go into the final round, which, of course, is the rapid fire round. Our winner tonight will be decided in the round that separates the men from the boys, the Joe Schmitz from the Joe Pesci's. It's the no theme in particular. Ridiculously easy rapid fire round. The score you get in this round will be added to your score in the previous round. There will be 40 seconds for everyone to answer from the same set of questions. We're going to start with the person with the highest number of points. That's you, Adrian. Then onto the person in second. That's you, Ger. And then onto the person in last. You. That's you, Tommy. If you get a question Thank correct, you. I'll ask you another question and keep asking you questions until you get one wrong. Once you get a question wrong, I'll move on to the next person. And your incorrect answer also means the deduction of one point. 
Adrian, your time begins with a Kenny Cunningham, so I remember being in there once and giving it a big yank. So I remember being in there once and giving it a big yank. When is the next Winter Olympics? What year? 2019. No, 2022. Paul Broderick plays for which county, Ger? Leash. No, Carlo. <laughs> Who's the Manchester United club captain, Tommy? Ashley Young. No, Antonio Valencia. <gasps> when did Cork last win a hurling all Ireland, Adrian? 2005. Correct. Uh, who was the last Dublin manager before Jim Gavin to win in All-Ireland? Pat Gilroy. Correct. Lorenzo Insignia plays for which club? Juventus. No, oh. Napoli. Which club plays at Bramall Langer? Sheffield United. Correct. Name the off football manager for next season. Martin Time. No, John Mon. Who knocked Mon and Hanada this year's summer football championship? This summer's football championship. Rome. Correct. Uh, who, who, in what oh. year did Hazel Zane last so the Ryder Cup? Oh, so yes. <laughs> Get Adrian in. wins 3 1 0. Oh, He's done it again. Yeah, two in a row. Well, sorry, Tommy won last week, but we'll uh, resolve all that on no, the next no, edition of the Crappy Quiz that Tommy chap. Rooney will feature in. He's off on holidays now. Congratulations, Adrian. Uh, in more ways than one. We'll see you in a few weeks' time. Uh, Tommy, we'll see you in a few weeks' time. Jerry, we'll see you back in the hot seat here next week. Do you want to tell us what's coming up next and off the ball? I think we've got some good quality, top quality guests from, you know, <laughs> guest land. That's exactly what JP said into my ear. How did you manage to guess? The uh, Off the Ball Crappy Quiz will be back on your YouTube screens and on your radio uh, things from uh, next Friday night at the same time. See you then. Bye-bye for now. Hey, hope you enjoyed that latest offering from Off The Ball. If you want to subscribe, and you should, check out just up here. All our latest stuff is just down here. Generally, knock yourself out.